Even before experts from the World Health Organization concluded that the lab leak theory was extremely unlikely, media reports were challenging the team's credibility, framing stories about their ties to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. I stand resolute against these political attacks that we see every day. When I came to Wuhan with this mission, we didn't know how um, straightforward this work would be or how difficult. What we saw every single day was critical new information. And we saw scientists who were willing, ready, and able to cooperate and collaborate with us. At Harrians in the US, many health experts who are advocating the natural origin theory are being attacked over links to the lab. Dr. Fauci, do you still support funding of the NIH funding of the lab in Wuhan? You are enti entirely and completely incorrect that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain of function research in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Do they fund Dr. Barrick? You don't think inserting in a bat virus spike protein that he got from the Wuhan Institute? In late May, the Biden administration tasked the U.S. intelligence community with investigating the origins of the virus. CNN attributed that move to heightened pressure from Congress and what it called clear public pressure from the growing media reports on the lab leak theory. Telling his Biden stepped at the pressure at the G7 summit in June where he gave more support for the possibility of a lab leak theory, although other leaders didn't share his views. Now the WHO is reconsidering reinstating Wuhan lab audits in the next phase. I've tried to talk to Mr. Dashak to understand how much pressure his WHO peers are undergoing since reports in June said he was recused on the UN-backed Commission on Origin Tracing. However, CGTN did reach a WHO expert from Russia and he gave us his thoughts on why the global health agency may be acting this way. It is difficult for me to respond to those actions and statements coming from the WHO. There are different people. They are under great pressure, in my opinion, particularly coming from the Americans. The World Health Organization says it's determined to keep politics out of its global study. There's a lot of rhetoric out there uh, at the moment, certainly. And uh, all countries, the one consistent thing we've heard from all countries has been uh, let's not politicize the science and we've not uh, acceded to pressures on one side or the other. Consistency and transparency are seen as crucial in this origin tracing saga. Scientists' dedication and the phase one report mean many experts are optimistic about soon finding some answers. But with the scientific process being complicated by political motivations, it means the credibility of any final conclusion could be threatened.